Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to The Witcher. Thank you so much for joining me. We're here in Lakeside, uh, near the river, and what we're getting ready to do now is to run over here and take out these uh, drowners. This is the last batch of drowners we need to take care of. I've cleared both Black Turn Island and the Lakeside of Drowners. I will recover the Naiad's necklace. I still. I must still tend to the drowners on the riverbank, so let's go do that real quick. Hey Griggsies, what's up? We're buds now, right? Not too worried about these drowners, famous, famous last words. Um, and I guess it's not nighttime yet, so no drowners just yet. Unfortunately, that means we need to pass the time somehow and somewhere. And I don't know of a campsite anywhere around here, but uh, I see this up here and I'm a little curious. What is this right here? Why is this dirt a different color right here? Really? It's just some differently colored dirt. I actually got a little excited there. Thought that maybe there was something new there for us to... Uh, investigate, but, um, oh well, I guess not. Let's see here, I don't, I don't think we've walked up here anyway. So we'll just, we'll just look around a little bit, see if we could find us a, uh, maybe a little fireplace to camp at, a campfire to camp at for an hour or two. It's kind of looking like that's not going to be the case here. Hmm, probably can't get up on top of this cannot. So now here we are again back in this little town. I wonder if there's somebody's place we could go into and... What's with Alvin's dog? What's up Alvin's dog? Uh-huh. Oh, that dog just peed. Did you see that? Look. Oh yeah, that dog's peeing again. Ooh, Alina's house. She's dead. I'm sure we could stay in here, except that we have to go. All right, how the heck do we get into her place? Not through here, okay. Let's see, oh, Alina. But oh, we're not gonna be able to sleep in here, are we? Since we don't have her to talk to, we can't, um, We can't talk to her and basically ask her permission to sleep here, so... Wow, she left something on the stove. She left the stove going. Fire hazard. Alright, what else can... Whoa, that was weird. What else can we do to pass the time here? Let's go talk to the blacksmith's wife. See if anything's changed. Hello, blacksmith's wife. Master Witcher. Farewell. Oh, okay. Farewell. Yes? Ugh. Okay, can't stay Farewell. here. Alright. It's now 8 o'clock. Lean year ahead of us. Lean year ahead of us. Okay, hey. What the? What? I, I just saw you inside. How did you do that? Yes? Alright. Farewell. Well, that was a pretty neat trick there, blacksmith. Prize-winning cow over here. Can't sleep with the cow. I don't think we could stay here. Huh, he's not even here. Man, what's a witcher to do? I don't think we have any other quests to do right now. Let's see, this one... We need to go see Julian, but he's over in the town. And then we're waiting on a gift from the Lady of the Lake, apparently. Alvin... Talk to Berengar again at some point. Oops. <laughs> um... So is it nighttime yet? Are the uh, drowners out? Let's go see. Boy, the colors are changing all weird on me. Brightness is changing. Could 
kind of looking like the drowners aren't out yet. I think like the game considers nine o'clock to be um, nighttime. Well, how long will it take to run over here to the village and talk to Julian? Let's go see. Where's this little road go? Oh, it just goes back to the bridge. Alright. Lots of plants and stuff out here. All right, Julian. I'm coming to talk to you. Indoor. Where's the outdoor? Oh, ho, 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 I didn't. But I did. Julian. Is he over here hanging out with these thugs? He is. He likes to hang out with the tough group. Yeah. That helps him sleep. Geralt? I did what I could for Alina. How did it happen? Alina's soul found peace. Selina. Well, there was no way I could help her. Thank you, Geralt. I'm devastated. I was a happy man just a few days ago. Now, I don't know. I may go back to Kovia. Anyone ask about me? <laughs> no. Yes, I almost forgot. The Fisher King. I think he wants to see you. Hmm. Thank you. I'll go see him. Farewell. Farewell. Well, that puts an end to the Heat of the Day quest. Julian rewarded me for freeing Alina's soul. And this has something to do with Alvin. I should go see the Fisher, Fisher King. Why am I... I don't know. Um... um, um, um So that was the heat of the day quest. Julian kept his word and rewarded me for freeing Alina's soul. I don't even know what he gave us. I didn't even pay attention. I'm just so loaded, you know, I don't even notice when people give me money. I just need so much money. That's not the outdoor. Alright, let's go kill some drowners. Hopefully the drowners are out now. I can figure out how to get out of here. Why does my screen look so weird? Like, there we go. I'm fine. Like I was stuck in some weird state. Hmm. Maybe running this way isn't the smart idea because this is where the uh, giant centipedes are. Oh well. We'll just run past them. We're faster than giant centipedes. Is there anything back here interesting back here? Doesn't look like it. Giant centipedes. Still don't know what that skeleton down there is for. It's just a generic random skeleton, apparently. Alright, centipedes. I got no beef with you. Ooh, a place of power. Cool. We can take care of our toxicity. Okay. Toxicity cleared. And we may as well go ahead and perform the ritual of magic while we're here. I just found this interface cumbersome. Doesn't really fit in with the rest of the game, I don't think. Drowners. Oh, devourers. What? I don't want to fight devourers. I want to fight drowners. Hmm. That's an awful lot of devourers over there. Oh, cool. Look at the moon. How neat is that? Let's see if we can skirt past these devourers. Where the hell are these drowners? Oh, uh, what the hell? Hello, drowners. Where are you? Where are you, drowners? Well, crap. That is what I'm supposed to deal with, right? I s must still tend to the drowners on the riverbank. Well, that's where I am. I will recover the Nyant's necklace, but I must still tend to the drowners on the riverbank. Dog on it. Hmm. I mean, 
is it is it not time for drowners to come out? I, I, it's night time. I think this is when they come out. Well, shoot. And we just need to. I don't know whether we need to run around and waste some more time, or whether they're not going to come out for some reason. Do I need to go back and talk to the naiad? Ah, oh, man, I'm right here. Talk on it. Um, shoot. What is the quickest way to get over to where the naiad is? I'll just skirt through here. Yes, yes, I know the devourers see me. I'm just gonna run past them, hope they give up the chase. And then they did. Alright, let's do a little bit of running around here. Smith works late. Maybe I should move. Maybe you should move. I don't know. If you're not happy here, maybe you should move. Hey, maybe we could talk to Berengar again while we're out here too. Plenty to do. Plenty to do. Oh, Alvin, you little crap. Yes. The hell Be are you good. doing here? I'll see you later. Freaking me out, kid. Oh well, let's take him over here to Berengar and introduce him. Hey man, what's up? You wanna talk a little bit? Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Farewell. Alright, can't talk to him. Run over here, of course there's a wyvern. I don't think we could avoid. Especially since we've got little... What's his face with this? And as you see, the game... I, I just drew my sword. I basically just clicked the mouse button to fight this thing. And for whatever reason, the game just automatically draws my uh, steel sword instead of my silver sword. So I need to keep an eye on that. Make sure I'm using the right sword. But in that case, it didn't matter. Uh, well, the Fisher King wants to see us. The house is right here, so let's go talk to him. Hopefully he's still awake. Where's the entrance to his place? Over here. What's up, Mr. King? Hmm. Uh, okay. I negotiated a peace between the humans and the Vodianoi. I also defeated Dagon. Mm hmm. Nothing to say again? Mm. <laughs> Care to try? A short magic word. <laughs> I know you can do it. Mm. Come now, before I decide you're a grumpy boob and a dimwit. <laughs> what? Mm. Grumpy boob. Dimwit. Because I don't feel the need to talk incessantly. I may not be the most talkative, but a grumpy boob and a dimwit? <laughs> That's harsh. That's harsh. <laughs> well, you're welcome anyway. Oh, all right. This game has a very strange sense of humor. Hmm. You look like you want to say something. Mm hmm. I have no idea what you want. Oh. All right, I'll try to guess. The Lady of the Lake wants to see me. Mm hmm. I shouldn't keep a goddess waiting. Farewell. Okay, so we had to go talk to the Fisher King to find out that the Lady of the Lake wants to speak with us. Well, he is kind of like her spokesperson, right? The Fisher King said that the Lady of the Lake wishes to see me. I have to go to Black Turn Island. Well, I guess this is another thing we could do since the boat is right here. Alvin, go away. I'm gonna go right on this boat just to get away from him. A little resolute girl over there. Did she just like live out here? All right, back to the Lady of the Lake. Let's see what she wants. What do you want, Lady of the Lake? Jeez. You know, it's kind of a pain in the butt to come out here to see you. You know, you could come over to the mainland and see me for once, but no. You've always got to have me come over here. Where is she? 
Oh, lady. Oh, she's way back here at this altar, isn't she? Yeah, so we gotta run all the way back here. We have to avoid wyverns and such. Man, I don't wanna fight no wyverns. I mean, there's just no reason to fight the wyverns. I don't have a quest involving wyverns. But it looks like we're gonna have to fight this one at least. Let's see, no, I don't think I can get past it. No, I can't. Yeah, screw you, Wyvern, I'm running past you. I'm just gonna ignore you. And I recommend you ignore me as well. Whoops. See what he has to say since I'm here. Nothing. Farewell. Okay. Hello, lady. Yes. Don't yes me. You're the one who called me out here. My lady, it seems I am needed in murky waters. What? Destiny has brought you here. We must speak. Naturally. I am a goddess. You are the sword of destiny. Death has followed you for years. Perhaps. Accept this gift from the Lady of the Lake. It will help you fulfill your destiny. What gift is that? What the? Oh, wasn't that pretty? Oh, ooh, ooh, neat. Geralt of Rivia, White Wolf. Carol, she's gonna chop your head off, man. Don't trust her. I'm just kidding. I'm sure you we can trust her. You a long path fraught with danger. You demonstrated courage and goodness. By divine power, I hereby knight you. Hmm. Face your enemies without fear. Safeguard the helpless. Never lie. Never lie. Even if it means your death. That is your oath. Arise, a knight. Destiny will give you no rest. A long road lies ahead. I see death and blood. I see frosty chaos. Hmm. Take this sword as a sign of my favor. Once the blade of a great warrior, it lay in the depths for ages, awaiting your arrival. Milady. Shh. Hmm. It matters not if you believe in destiny. With the blade I present you, you will complete your mission. Thank you, milady. Go, White Wolf, and do what must be done. May you fulfill your destiny. Well, that was pretty neat. So, I guess this is the sword right here, the rune... Oh, let's see, the Lady of the Lake, she was worth seeing. <laughs> okay. The sword I received has a destiny of its own. Time will tell what that destiny is. Uh, so, Paths of Destiny, the Lady of the Lake presented me with what looks to be an exceptional sword. It is light, sharp as a razor, and fits the hand neatly. It is also a gift from a goddess. I have a feeling it will be very useful. And then uh, Alvin, an extraordinary sword, the Lady of the Lake must think me important. Track quest on map, what? What am I? Okay. Um, so what uh, sword are we carrying right now? Arendite. Hmm. Cool. Damage plus 60%, attack plus 10%, chance of critical effects, pain, blinding, incineration, and precise hit plus 50%. Huh, okay. But what about my old sword? That was an expensive sword, damn it. I just leave it here? I paid a lot of money for that damn sword. <laughs> Fine, I'll leave it here. Jeez. I'll tell you what, man. Man works hard. Craft a sword, especially for his hand, and then he just leaves it at the altar. 